What's up everybody, Sam from Cubi Studios here, back in Legacy of the Duelist Challenge Mode, Episode 5. As we discussed in the last video, so after some feedback in the comments from you guys, what we're going to be doing is every even number episode will be the character that you guys vote for over on Twitter.com slash Studios. We're throwing up a poll based on your suggestions in the comments of each video of who I should be dueling. So that'll be every even video, and then every odd video, so this is Episode 5, an odd number, we're going to be doing a minor character that I don't really think you guys are going to be voting for. So, today we're going to be taking on Marcel Bonaparte. I don't know who this guy is, so I assume he's a minor character. If he's not, I apologize. <laughs> but this is also to remind you guys that GX characters are available for you guys to vote on. I think I've also cleared all of the 5D characters as well, if you want to start suggesting some of those. So anyone from those series, you can join. Or you can suggest in the comments below and we'll vote for them over on my Twitter page. So check the links in the description for that. While you're down there, of course, as of last week, if you guys watched the last episode, I've opened up my Discord channel to everyone. So you guys can check the link in the description for there. If for that, and then you can join the Discord channel. I've got all sorts of different chat pages where you guys can talk about all sorts of different games. There's a general chat. There's voice channels. All sorts of cool things like that over on my Discord page. So be sure to click that as well. Follow me on Twitter. Patreon, all the cool links in the description. Of course, I look forward to reading your comments and first suggestions, deck suggestions, I'm looking for as well. I've kind of been out of the Yu-Gi-Oh game for a little bit, so I forgot a lot of the Legacy of the Duelist decks that are possible, so be sure to be recommending those as well. And if you want to send some deck lists over to me in the Yu-Gi-Oh chat page over on my Discord, feel free to do that. Or if you want to comment them, or DM them to me on Twitter, you can do all those things. I'm always looking at all of the possible suggestions but in the meantime we're gonna be doing Marcel and I've also rebuilt my spellcaster deck finally because I know you guys were looking forward to that so here we go now the big thing here we'll be remembering if I know if I remember how to use this uh, spellcaster deck it's actually been quite a while when you draw a normal monster you can reveal it and draw one more card so he's got an exodia deck as well so maybe this should have been an exodia mirror match but I have decided to let it rest on just being a normal um, dual matchup for this. I don't know why I summoned him. Oh, I know why. Because I was going to get Buster Blader. I, like, even acknowledged what I was going to be doing in my head, but then didn't say it. So this is Skilled White Magician, of course. Once it has three spell counters, I can get rid of it for Buster Blader, which is exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to activate Magical Blast. So he's going to get three spell counters. I can go ahead and get myself Buster Blader. It's going to take me a little minute to get into the swing of things for this uh, Spellcaster deck again, but I think it'll be just like riding a bike, because this is my go-to deck. This is the deck where I barely even have to read the description for the cards anymore, as you guys know. That's a big thing that I usually have to do, is we got to stop, read the descriptions, but I've played this deck so much, it's just, it's just a thing of habit at this point. I don't have a spellcaster card. I need to for this magician's circle. We should be able to get something going out for that pretty soon, unless he just changes together a whole bunch of cards for Exodia. I think I need to be winning in like the next couple turns here. Because this is a banned card. Heart of the Underdog? I, I think you can't put that in a dex anymore, right? No. Not skipping the draw phase. That actually kind of ruins what I was looking for, but that's okay. Each time a spell card is activated, don't really need to do that for this one. Well, Actually, you know what? Let's do it, just to make sure he can destroy whatever's in defense position there. His attack's a lot weaker than I remember it being. And it'll let me draw. And we'll use Spell Power Grasp for this as well. Exodia's not listed as a um, spellcaster, I believe, so this shouldn't inadvertently help him. I think this will let me get out. Go Dark Magician Girl? Or do we go... We could also get Magical Marionette. I think we'll go this, because this can destroy monsters. Although, it does have to be face up. Ooh, Gemini Elf is available. Okay, so that did kind of help him. That's fine. We can still take it out. Oh, I guess I should have had him take Gemini Elf out. Whatever. It's okay. We'll be able to use... Does this have to be... Can it just be a monster, or... Then target one monster on the field. Oh, okay, no. We'll win next turn then, because I have Spell Power Grasp to activate this effect. So as long as he doesn't finish the Exodia, we should be able to power right through this. Ugh. 
I don't know, he's not like halfway through the decks, so he's gonna have to get pretty ugly, er, ugly, lucky. That's the opposite of ugly. If you are lucky, if you are not ugly, you are lucky, right? Okay. So as long as that trap isn't like Mirror Force, which we've already kind of confirmed. Oh, but this is the one we've got to watch out for. This one right here. No, don't activate Magical Blast. Are you nuts? Why would I ever activate that? <gasps> we actually can get out Dark Paladin. What? Right? Dark Paladin? I forget what Dark Paladin's effect is. I don't think in the history of me using Spellcaster deck through um, Millennium Duels and Legacy of the Duelist, I don't think we've ever actually got Dark Paladin out. During either player's turn, when a spell card is activated, you can discard one card and negate the activation, and if you do, destroy it. That's funny. Fuck it. Why not? Where you at? Polymerization? Let's get Dark Paladin. Let's get my boy out, finally. Watch me lose this duel because of this, but... Whatever. He's gonna get a counter for that, and he's gonna get an extra 200 attack. This should kind of secure my victory, I think. Oh, and because I discarded, you know who I can special summon now? Is this guy, because I disc er, sent Dark Magician to the graveyard. Now I got my Dark Monster. Let's get out a Chaos Sorcerer as well. And because I'm not done yet, activate Spell Power Grass. Look at this. It's like I know... If you had not been on this channel before, and this is the first video you watch on my channel, can you believe it? You might actually think I was a respectable duelist that knew what he was doing. Wow. What a day and age we live in. It's 2018, boys and girls. Cubi Studios knows how to fucking play some Yu-Gi-Oh! Get destroyed, Marcel Bonaparte! Man, it's like my Spellcaster deck's good. I've tweaked it a little bit from when I was playing the original Legacy of the Duelist series as well, so it's been improving along with me. I'm very proud of that deck. I miss being able to read all of the cards that I win at the end of these duels because it just shows the picture. It doesn't show, like, what they do. And I don't think you can, like, see... Okay, yeah, no, you can't see what it does. All right, there you guys have it. That was a real quick and easy one. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the return of the Spellcaster deck. Now that I know what I am doing, the Spellcaster deck that I got is a force to be reckoned with and will possibly carry me through a lot of challenge modes. So I don't try... I am not aiming to use it a whole bunch. I'm just going to try and use it every once in a while because I do think most of the times I use it, it'll be a pretty decisive victory. Maybe we have to bring it out against some of the Pendulum decks that'll be coming into Duelist Challenge mode, but we'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, maybe drop a like button. Of course, hit the comments up with your thoughts, feedback, deck suggestions, Duelist suggestions, all that kind of good stuff. Remember, you can check the links in the description. My Discord's now open for public, don't forget, so you can join that and be a part of the conversation over there. Join me in chat, I'm usually on my phone, pretty much a lot to be able to respond to you guys in Discord, and then you guys can talk amongst yourselves as well whenever I'm not available for the conversation. You can follow me on Twitter, and that's where all of the Duelists Challenge Mode polls will be taking place is over there on Twitter. On my Twitter page, the link is in the description, twitter.com slash Studios. You can support me on Patreon if you are so inclined. Maybe throw a dollar to my way, I'd appreciate it. But above all else, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Besides, I want to see the Heartless Dance too, don't you? Not really. <laughs> well, quit being a spoil sport. Hi, that was amazing. Uh, and you are...